just I'm so excited. I'm ready to go. Trishonda Johnson is on her way to Brooklyn for a church conference. This is my first travel and I am so ready and excited to get out of here. It's going to be great. It's going to be a whole lot of women coming from all over internationally and we are worshiping. Calvin Duenez made to his praising in a different way. He's off to Hawaii. Uh, go to the beach, swim, surf, eat, have some fun, spend some time with family. Uh, I feel amazing. Can't wait to get out. It's about time. It's been, it's been a year. Travel is back, but even now the numbers aren't as high as the before times. Sunday, the number of passengers passing through LAX was 75% lower than the same Sunday two years ago. This is what LAX looked like Memorial Weekend 2020. But here's what passengers are experiencing now. Every single seat was full. So I was right next to somebody, armrest to armrest. Felt like the pandemic was over. The only difference was, you know, they had a face mask on. Crowded plane. Uh, a lot more people than I expected. So it seems like people are getting out and about because of the vaccine would be my guess. Yeah. The vaccine prompted this trip to L.A. for Sabrina Garst from Denver. I'm here with my friends to backpack the Trans Catalina Trail. It's kind of our first big thing that we're doing after COVID and we're all vaccinated and we're ready to get back out there. 2.9 million Southern Californians are ready to get back out there, according to the Auto Club of Southern California. But this holiday, the vast majority will vacation by car. We likely will see very heavy traffic, particularly on Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, heading into the long weekend. And then, of course, returning uh, traffic will be heavy on that Monday, Memorial Day. All right, speaking of traffic, the construction around LAX, it might make your trip to the terminals a little bit more difficult. So LAX warns you about that and says, leave yourself plenty of time to get to your boarding gate. And don't forget the mask because still on federal property, so on the airport grounds, as well as in the plane, you are still required to wear the mask. Reporting live at LAX, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.